Hey, how's it going? And today I thought it would be fun to try writing our first verse component, our first component in verse. And this is related to the scene graph and the entities and the components and that whole prefab thing. So this is so, so interesting. I am trying to get my mind around this still, but I think ultimately once the system becomes clearer that it's gonna change programming for a lot of people. It's going to make a lot of things more possible, create a lot more possibilities, I guess I should say. So this is a very, very simple example. And what we've got is we have a verse component and the code, all it's going to do is change a point light from blue to orange after 15 seconds. That's all it's going to do. And this is so, so interesting and so different from how we normally work with verse. These components are something entirely different. I want to say it almost seems like a construction script in Unreal Engine. It seems very similar to that because it starts simulating even in edit mode. It hits the ground running right away even before you hit start the game. So it runs in edit mode and in play mode. So it's already running as soon as you get into the the Fortnite client. So it's very, very interesting. So it's not running here in the editor, but as soon as we go into Fortnite, it starts running. So watch this. What's going to happen is we're just in the editor right now, right? As soon as I switch over to Fortnite, we'll watch and we're not going to be in play. We're just going to be in edit. You'll see the light change from blue to orange. So watch this. <laughs> it's really, it's really interesting. So here I was in, so I'm going to, I have to start the game. It's already run. The simulation is what's happened. That's why the light is orange, but watch what happens when I end the game. It's going to kill everything and start over. See, we're in, if you're looking in the left corner, see, we're in edit mode, not the game mode. The light's blue, right? Look on the floor and now watch, it's going to change to orange. See that in edit mode on the simulation. So that's why I say it's like a construction script where it's running before the game even gets going. So this is for assets that you kind of want up and running or going before the game even starts. You want these things put into place. I'm sure there's a way to spawn them in later than that, but it seems like it's for assets that you want in your game before the game even starts running. That's what it seems like to me. Now, interestingly, if I can restart the simulation, if I go start the game, the simulation is already run, so that's why it's still staying orange. I'm in game mode now. When I hit escape and go in game. It's back to blue. But now, see, we're going to switch into edit mode, and now it's blue. The component code on the is running now, and it's going to switch it back to orange. It's really interesting. So I'll start this from scratch so that it, you can see exactly what's going on here. And that's the point of this tutorial is to write our first verse component. So we're going to continue to load. I'm going to close these things out here so I don't have any conflicts. We'll go in just to a blank island template. And I think this is actually, I really believe that once the system becomes known, it's going to be a really interesting way of working in Unreal Editor. It's just getting your mind around all of this new terminology and everything and what's happening. So to begin with, this is an experimental feature. It cannot be published in your game. You cannot publish a project with it. I would not put it in your game. You do so at your own peril. You couldn't even publish your game if you did. So we've got to come up here and go to project settings and enable it here as experimental. Now I want you to notice something. Look in the upper left corner. Now look when I click that box. You see an extra box came up there in the upper left hand corner. And this is the entity right here. Entities. I'm not a big fan of that name, <laughs> but anyway, you'll see it enables things to start happening. Okay. So if I click on it, you'll see it says entities there. Now, if I right click here, what we're going to do is we're going to create what's called a prefab. We're going to create two prefabs. One is just going to be for point light and one is going to have verse code in it. So we're going to create two prefabs. So I'm going to click on this and there it is. And I'm going to just call this prefab point light, just like that. And this is really simple. Once you get your mind around it, this is just a container. And so let me dock this up here. 
And so here is our entity, kind of our default entity. And we can add a component to this. And all we're gonna add, there's already components here we can add. We're just gonna add a point light to it right here, just like that. And see the point light comes in and we can change the color. So I'm gonna just change it to blue and we can make it you know, brighter, change it here and go save. And now we have this point light and I can just drag it into the scene right here, and there it is right there. And I can still keep adjusting it down here. I can adjust the intensity up. So I'm going to make it pretty, pretty blue, just like that. So there is our prefab, and I could keep dragging these into the scene all day long. So it allows us to do what they call iteration through instantiation. Say that at a cocktail party. Okay, and there's that. It's so simple. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create another prefab. And before we create that, though, let's go ahead and create our verse component, our first verse component. And we'll come up to Verse Explorer here. We'll go to Project, right-click, Add New File to Project. We've got a new category here called Component. And I'm just going to call this My First Verse Component and we'll go create. And it's gonna come in with some boilerplate code in it already. And there it is. Now, once I've created this, this will be viewable in our prefab section here when we go to create a prefab. Once we create it here, it'll be viewable in here. But let's go ahead and write this code out first. And this is the whole point of this tutorial. Now you'll see there's a lot of things. There's an on begin simulation, there's an on simulate, I don't know that we, we don't necessarily need this. Maybe it'll turn out later that we do, but I'm just going to delete that. We're just gonna do on simulate here. And this of course would print out a string if you wanted that. We don't actually need any of these comments in here. And we don't need this either. And we don't need that either. So it's very minimal code. I already have some code ready to pop in here. So I'm just going to come in one, two, three, four, control V. And we're going to get an error. One thing to keep in mind is that all the other rules of verse still apply. All the same rules. This is just a whole nother system on top of the existing one. So what we need to do is I just need to add the module for that. So I'll just come over here, control C this, control V, and it's looking for the color module colors yeah so then we can pick any color that we want so instead of on begin it's on simulate which means that it'll run at editor time too so it's just very interesting i'm, I'm still trying to get my mind around this whole this whole thing here i'll put it to sleep for 10 seconds and that's all there is to it so it's just going to go the component derives from the component class and then on simulate, it has it overrides and it suspends so it can use time functions. And then this is just all, if we hold here, you can see all the things that it can do for the entity, right? It can get the parent, remove from parent, add, get, get components, add components, dispose, is disposed. There's a whole range of functionality that you can do. And of course, this is all experimental. It's giving me an error here saying that the experimental setting is not set, but it is set. So I don't know why it does that. But that's all there is to it. So we're just going to say, go find the light component class. Go find those. Go get them. And then if you find them, and it's going to loop through them, all of them. And then for each one, go to sleep for 10 seconds and then change the light component color. That's all it's going to do. Very simple. Okay, so that's all we need to do there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and build the verse code like I normally would. So we've just finished writing our first verse component. Now, if I right click and come up here, I can go to entity. And I'm just going to call this PF component uh, verse component. Call it whatever you want to call it. And then I'm just going to double click into it. And here we are again. And if I click here, component, you'll see my first verse component is right there. And then I just simply add it to this. And that's all I have to do. 
Now what's interesting is these entities are really, they're just containers, they're invisible containers, they're placeholders, they're null objects, whatever you want to call them. They're just things that hold components. They're invisible containers that hold components. But to bring them into existence, to create an instance of them, we have to drag them into the scene. So now that I've created this, just like I would drag a verse device into the scene, I drag this into the scene. And the only way that I know it's there is by seeing it over here, right? So even though I call it verse component, it looked like it added a name to it or something too. So, but there it is right there. So I can see they're both in the scene. It's kind of invisible except in the outliner. And that's it. So what should happen is I'm just going to push these changes, create this. And then once that's done and I jump into the editor, we can see the results of the verse code. This is bringing Unreal Editor very much into the behavior of Unreal Engine. It's really, really interesting. And I, I think they said that this system, this entity component system, this scene graph is replacing like the actor system in Unreal Engine. So it's bringing that same Unreal functionality into Unreal Editor. For Fortnite. So I'll be back once it's done. Okay, I'm back. So as soon as I jump into the Fortnite, it should be blue and the simulation will start running just as soon as I get into the client. So here it looks like the simulation is already run. So let's just start it over again. So I'm going to go start game. It's going to stay the color that it is, just like I showed you before. Now when I go in game, it's going to end the simulation and the simulation will start over. Here we go. So it already switched to blue. Now we're in edit mode and see the simulation is running now and we got 10 seconds. It's gonna switch to orange. There it goes. Yeah, it's really, really interesting. I'm still getting my mind around it, but I just wanted to show you kind of how you can get started with playing around with it and learning more about it. So anyway, take care, have a great day and I'll talk to you next time.